Welcome back to Physics Teacher, the channel that prepares you for the high school math, physics, and chemistry contest from Waterloo University. This was a question from the Sir Isaac Newton contest, which is the high school physics contest. Give it a try, and I'll be right back with the solution. So in this question, we have a rope that's hanging freely between two trees at the same height. And in this question, the rope has a weight. It's not massless. The weight is 330 newtons. And it makes an angle of 15 degrees with each tree. So there's some symmetry here, which can really help us with the problem. So when we look at a free body diagram, because of the symmetry, I'm going to look at only half the rope. So right at this point here, the tension is going to be up in this direction. And if we draw a vertical line here, we can split the tension into its vertical and horizontal components, where this angle here is 15 degrees. So there's our tension. Right here, we're going to solve for the Y component of tension and over here, the X component of tension. So let's do that over here. So the X component of tension is going to equal T times the sine of 15 degrees. And the Y component will, will equal T times the cos of 15 degrees. Now because this is in a state of equilibrium, our Y component of tension will balance the force of gravity. And this is the force of gravity on half of the rope because our free body is only for half of the rope, and so it's going to be half the mass. So I'll just write the total mass over 2 times g for gravity. And rearranging for tension, we get tension equal to mg over 2 times the cos of 15 degrees. Now if we look at the lowest point right here in the rope, which is where we want to solve for the tension, at this point, the tension is going to be perfectly horizontal in this direction. Let's call this T prime. And because the system is, equal, is in equilibrium, that T prime is going to equal the Tx. So T prime is therefore equal to T times the sine of 15, but we know what T equals. It is mg over 2 times the cos of 15, and then we have all of that multiplied by the sine of 15. So that can be simplified into sine over cos is 10. We also know the weight, which is 330, so mg is 330 newtons, divided by that 2, times the tan of 15 degrees. And so that's going to equal 44.2 newtons, or our answer is C.